Hi folks, John Kay here. Just wanted to show you something interesting that I found when I was adjusting the timing on the team coiler here. And I think this also relates to uh, John's Ferris wheel that we've all seen. So what I've done here is I've hooked up a an LED uh, with a resistor on one leg and what I've done is on each of the magnets I've put a little uh, reflective strip on each of the magnets so I can see the timing on the coil. So what I've noticed is uh, when I tuned it for the fastest speed and before I show you this I'll just show you the speed. So the RPM I'm getting on this is about 13.22 thereabouts which is the fastest RPM I can get out of it. And if I show you, see how I'll try and get this so it doesn't get too much glare on the camera, is this is the pulse where the coil discharges. So you can see that little square there. Now I've hooked up, I've drawn a line on the coil which is exactly halfway in between two magnets. There's 20 magnets on this rotor, um, so that point there indicates halfway between two of the 20 magnets. Now that just so happens to be on this rotor about 9 degrees because there's 20 magnets on the rotor, each magnet is 18 degrees apart, halfway between is 9 degrees. So I guess if you had an 8 pole rotor that would be 23 degrees and where have we heard that before? So just to give you an idea of what it looks like on the scope as well, you can see the bottom here is our transistor on time, charges the coil, transistor switches off, and this is our discharge pulse. So that's what you're seeing on the blue LED. And you can see where it is in relation to the H wheel. What I found is if I uh, adjust the base resistance, so if I go down on the base resistance, and you'll see this here, I'm going to wind it right down to just so it stays in a single pulse. And I'm going to grab my LED again so I can not short it out. And you can see our pulse now is before the halfway mark. Okay, you can see the coil there and the pulse there. And as soon as I do that, the wheel slows down. Okay, you can see we're down to 1286, 85. Okay, if I go the other way, uh, I just lost sync on the scope. If I tune it the other way from where I was, and go right over the top there. Just let me sink that back in again. Okay. The, the speed of the wheel is also not as fast as 1270. But if I tune it so let me tune this out again to where I was before have a look at our timing light again. Okay, just try to cut the clear to where we're halfway in between again. It's just a little bit too fast. I'm just going to wind that back a little bit. Right there. Okay, look at our timing mark again. See so we're exactly halfway, so we're discharging the coil exactly halfway between the two magnets. Okay, to a scope shot again. Our RPM will go back up and it'll slowly climb back up. You can see it's climbing back up there, 1288, 89. And it takes a little while to stabilize, so if you're doing this on a big wheel like this, you kind of just got to adjust it a little bit, 
come back in five minutes and check the RPM. So that's just something interesting I wanted to show you and I think the reason why the wheel speeds up is because when you discharge the coil and turn the, turn the transistor off the poles flip so when the transistor is on this is a north pole this is a south pole as soon as you switch that transistor off this becomes a south pole and this becomes a north pole now if you look at John's diagrams of where he maps out the magnetic fields in between two of the magnets is a scalar south field so what I think is happening is that when the poles flip what we're actually doing is the scalar south is repelling against the south of the coil which is giving the wheel an extra push so this also relates to the ferris wheel because I I couldn't understand why John had such a uh, a long dwell or duty cycle uh, with the hall switching on on the ferris wheel and if you look at the timing marks um, that he placed on there and on, on the video and on the pictures we've seen you can see his timing marks are exactly in between the two magnets so just something interesting I saw you can see our, um, our RPM again is, is almost up to where it was before so it's climbing up again but I found if I go uh, past past the, the middle part of the, you know, if I go past that timing mark that you can see on the coil, the wheel slows down, or if I go before it, the wheel also slows down, but the fastest RPM is exactly in the middle of uh, two magnets on the rotor. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Cheers. Bye.